Hey everyone, Jenny and Mac here from Cruising Maya, and we're back with another video. In this episode, we're going to show you what we experienced in the two months leading up to the biggest trip of our lives, a 4,000-mile voyage aboard our 37-foot sailboat, Maya. First stop, Alaska, then down the coast for a winter in Mexico. In this video, we're replacing our 420 amp hour lead acid batteries with 300 amp hour battleborne lithium batteries. This episode starts with two months before we set sail. It's winter in Anacortes, Washington, and preparations aboard Maya continue. <laughs> Okay, so we are just breaking ground on this lithium battery conversion project. So a lot of thought went into all of this and where everything will be placed. I think this is uh, what we landed on. So this will be our DC negative uh, distribution block that goes to our shunt, which then goes to a distribution bus for the negatives. The positives will go from the batteries up kind of along here and land on this bus, which is a fuse. So each battery will have its own fuse. And then there's a kind of like a master fuse going to a big burly distribution block that will house like um, the connection to the alternator and then the windlass and other things like that. So the difficult part with this project is just fitting everything in there and making it look nice. I mean, it wouldn't be there's definitely enough space to do all this, but uh, it's just kind of a worry to see how nice it's going to look. You always want it to look nice. So I think this is, setup's going to work. You never really know what it's going to be to the end. So let's just uh, get in there and uh, get busy. Okay, just wrapping up work in this battery compartment here. And now we're working to get all of this connected up to our engine and our electrical panel. So I should mention that as part of our lithium battery upgrade, we are also upgrading our alternator. So this is our existing one. This is a 70 amp. And we're replacing it with this guy, which is 170 amp. So this thing will essentially turn our little diesel engine into like a pretty powerful generator so we're really excited to to have this uh, as a new addition to complement the lithium bank the last piece of equipment to install was the external voltage regulator so this is the external voltage regulator this is the balmar mc614 and it basically acts as the brain between the alternator and the batteries and it really uh, maximizes the efficiency of the alternator and the engine and charging so um, really excited to have one of these all right so we're ready to adhere the regulator onto the boat here and what i'm going to use is this stuff called plexus super easy it's a two-part thing mix it up and so this stuff sets in like five minutes it's great but I don't want to hold it up there for five minutes so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of hot glue just to the top this is all ready to go just so the hot glue is gonna set in 
you know, 30 seconds. So that the hot glue will hold it while the plexus kicks. It's really nice because then I don't have to tape it up there. I don't have to hold it up there for five minutes. Even though the plexus will be done in five minutes, it's still five minutes like we do in other stuff. And there you have it. finished up wiring the new voltage regulator all these lines have been run and uh, basically the last things I I wired up were these two wires that were left over from the old alternator and uh, just through a little bit of Google research I you know was able to decipher what they were label them because labels are our friends they go into the engine harness that goes up through and then ultimately connects to the engine dash so that was kind of a I would say that that is probably one of the more scary parts of, of this and more confusing parts of the project, you know, um, kind of blending two, two technologies, you know, the engine and then this new charging uh, regulator. It can be a little intimidating, I guess, but um, at least in my experience here, it's kind of boiled down to um, it's more basic than I had kind of thought originally. So there's no reason to to not go and try and tackle whatever project you're trying to do because the the tools and knowledge is out there so just go forth and conquer okay so it's a little while later put some time and effort into this and we made a little mock-up so this piece here is this piece um we're up to cut this down to size and then there's this other piece that mocked up here and this will be like a new mounting plate this is the old one you can see it just sat a lot lower but in order to get this this arc, I want to use this belt buddy thing. It's supposed to be a pretty nice to be able to tension the alternator. So I want to incorporate that still. I think the way is going to be making a bigger mounting plate. I'm just about to cut and I'm just putting a little WD-40 on the, on the blade. This will just help keep it. Test fit. I think we got something that's going to work here. I'm super psyched on that, actually. Basically, what we have to do now is I'll mark a hole there, so I'll drill a hole for the bolt that goes there. But after that, we're, we're pretty much ready to live test this thing, which is super exciting and um, really a critical, critical step. So um, feels good. Like a ton of work behind us, and it's really it's coming together. And uh, really excited to do some testing. alternator is in and tested everything looked good there wiring is done everything's been labeled and everything works 
So we are super psyched to have this one behind us and we're ready for the trip now. Uh, with the exception of the boat is a giant mess. So that's the next project here. Get this boat whipped into shape so we can be a live aboard boat again. So there you have it. Maya is supercharged and ready for adventure. If you were wondering, the total cost of this project was $4,600. Here's a quick price breakdown. If you have questions or would like us to create a more in-depth technical video about our lithium conversion, let us know in the comments. We've got one month to go before we cast some lines for good. However, challenges lay ahead as we haul out to tackle a leak coming from our rudder post, as well as discover a potentially major issue with Maya's rigging. Okay, we did find something. All that and more in the next episode. As always, thanks so much for watching, and we hope to see you here next time. Cheers. Thanks, stir crazy is the right word. <laughs>